Okay, so today I want to talk to you about um, a new tool that Hyper Research is introducing. The tool is called Interrater Reliability. And uh, in order to tell you uh, about the tool, I want to first describe what we mean when we're talking about Interrater Reliability. So let's say that uh, you're about to do a study. You got a couple of coders working with you, coder A and coder B. And uh, you're going to give them both an identical copy of some textual material. Let's say it's an interview. So uh, coder A and coder B uh, are both given interview one, a copy of interview one, and they're going to go off and code that using hyper research. And um, then what you want to be able to do is to determine um, to what degree they agree in their coding. Uh, so you want to look and see when, where they coded a specific passage with a specific code. Did, uh, did they both find that same passage and apply that same code to it? And did they select the exact um, passage or part of it? Or did it overlap? Those sort of things to see how reliable their coding is. So you're going to send them off separately to do this hyper-research coding. Or what you may want to do is... Um, make a code book. Hyper Research has a nice code book feature that allows you to, in advance, if you want to, um, think of the codes that you're going to look for and, uh, and then describe those codes. So in this instance, successful happy life is to be used whenever someone is talking about their life being both successful and happy. And uh, in addition to that sort of a description, you, you might want to say to the coders, Look, whenever you find an instance of successful, happy life, code one sentence after the sentence where you found it uh, and one sentence before. Um, that may be too tight. It may be too loose. But those are the kind of things that you want to at least discuss or think about um, if you're going to try to have some reliability in, uh, in the way that coding is being done. Okay, so that's a, that's a description of what we're trying to accomplish with this tool. And uh, in a real study, you could imagine that you might have more than coder A and coder B, and that you would certainly probably have more than just a single interview for them to code uh, throughout the course of the study. So um, let's move on now to um, coder A and coder B have gone off, and they have coded um, passages of text with uh, various codes that you have uh, all agreed upon in the way that you agreed upon them. And they've come back to you with their separate study files from Hyper Research. And now what you're going to do is to merge those studies into a single master study file, which is accomplished very easily by using the Hyper Research Import Other Studies menu item. And uh, then what you'll end up with is um, uh, something that you can begin to try to analyze their um, coding technique and whether or not you've achieved or to what degree you may have achieved integrator reliability. Okay, so now we're in Hyper Research with our two merged studies from Coder A and Coder B, and we can see that, in fact, um, Coder A and Coder B have both coded two different cases, um, two different, let's say, interviews that which Hyper Research stores in cases as the basic unit of analysis. And that, um, so they've basically coded two interviews and attached them to um, two different cases. And, and now you have all four of those cases from Coder A and Coder B. Uh, if you wanted to just, this is a very small sample so that we don't get lost in uh, the minutia of a larger study. Um, but so you can just quickly go through and say, okay, I've got uh, that coded passage for successful happy life. Let me go to, um, what did coder B do? Close, um, a sentence is missing here. Then... Um, case two, uh, interview two, Code Array has, has uh, um, selected this passage of text for Successful Happy Life, and Coder B has selected the exact same passage. So uh, pretty much total agreement there. 
uh, let's let's quickly run a report just before we get into the uh, the new iterator reliability tool I'm gonna do a quick report and I'm gonna report um, and sort by codes just based on what I just showed you um, on the case cards so I'm just gonna go ahead and display this report and we can see here now in a nice um, single document that could be exported uh, that we have total agreement here and near agreement there so that's uh, that's a report and now let's go ahead and open the intercoder reliability tool and you can see that uh, there's a button in the upper left hand corner group cases by coder so you're always comparing one coder to another with this tool you can do multiple passes of that if you have multiple coders but you need to compare one coder to one other coder uh, for this tool to work properly so you can see I only have a couple cases I want all of the A's to be um, over on the left side I could just select those or if I had a larger study uh, with a lot of cases I could just search for something that was unique in this case the A would be unique uh, let me select something else so you can see that it actually works so there are the A's and I'm going to push those over into the um, coder A cases field and then I'll just select the rest since I see that they're all B's and push those over here that's pretty much it. Then you click done. And you are then initially presented with um, the list of agreement percentages and ratios initially displayed by uh, source text or in, in fact displayed by case. This is case one coder A and case one coder B's coding on interview one text of the source file. You can switch over to a specific code to look at and um, in this case I don't want fabulous non-traditional job because we've been talking about successful happy life and now I can see that at a hundred percent if I if I am demanding 100 percent agreement those two passages of text must match exactly then that only happened um, in case two with the interview two but it did not happen um, with that degree of precision or accuracy in interview one so I can slide this slider down to see if I can at what point that does actually happen it seems to be around 65 what that's saying is that if you did the math between those two passages of text so let's go ahead and see this I have an extra I have the exact um, phrase has been coded on interview two here and here but it's not the same it's not exact on interview one I have an extra sentence here at the beginning than I do here both of these have the same phrase or, or last two or three sentences but there's an extra sentence here if you actually count the number of characters here and the number of characters there and then do the math you will see that it's going to be around 65 66 percent let's go ahead and do that here is one of those passages put into a simple text editing tool called uh, text wrangler I see that there are 274 characters there and um, here I see that there are 181 and if you bring up a calculator and um, do that math let's do uh, 181 divided by 274 and you get 0.66 or 66 percent so it's it's definitely very very close to what we're finding here and um, that's how the tool works and so the tool has done its job it's pointed out to you um, an instance where that there isn't total agreement and um, you can go back then at that point the job is yours again to sort of say 
Uh, let's look at that report and get your coding, coding team back together and say, all right, um, is this sentence important or not? And this is where you may have to you know, examine your coding rules or your coding agreement between coders to say, do we need, I guess I'm really lucky that my life turned out almost exactly like I always wanted it to. Um, and uh, that's, the, that's the question that you have to uh, answer in order to, you know, just to, if you want to try to improve the precision that people are coding things, coding successful, happy life, then you have to try to um, come up with, with uh, a coding scheme that will allow you to improve that number, or you have to be able to justify that 65, 66% agreement in, in this kind of a study is close enough because what you have is the same exact um, three out of four sentences that have been coded. Is that is that good enough? Well, maybe it is. I think it is. Those two things certainly are, um, you know, successful, happy life. One of one person coded a little more verbosely than the other. But those are the decisions that uh, we hope this tool can help you make. And uh, if you have any suggestions about improvements to the tool, We'd love to hear about them. So thanks very much. Um, have fun with the new tool.